Greetings, my name is Jonathan Frederick Walls and I'm curator of American art at the Columbus Museum. So excited today to talk about one of my favorite paintings in the collection, Alfred Maurer's Paris at Night from around 1900. One thing that I really love about this painting is that it's at night. Um, and if you think about how hard it is to see at night already, and then think about an artist trying to capture not only what he's seeing, but the fact that he's working in the dark makes it much more difficult for him to see his supplies and what he's working on. The colors in this painting blow me away because it's that time of night where there's artificial illumination and the colors become much darker and more intense, but they're still there. Um, he's using this really interesting palette of blue-green and red-violet and blue-violet that I find really unusual. You see some uh, visitors here on uh, this overlook of this is the Seine, um, and of course we have the Eiffel Tower. Um, my research indicates that this is the 1900 World's Fair, and one of the main attractions at that fair was the Palace of Electricity. Electricity wasn't sort of introduced to the public at this fair, but there was a big emphasis on it. And you can see that there were various um, illuminated features at night that the artist is drawing our attention to. It's also interesting is that this is painted on panel. It's probably um, in the vein of a sketch, although um, of course now we're hanging it in the museum as a full-blown painting. Um, the hardness of the surface gives it this really interesting um, way that the, the paint and the brush are interacting with the hardness of what Maurer is painting on. It almost looks to me um, I don't see any real fingerprints, but it almost looked like he's using, um, maybe he's using a cloth over top of his finger and sort of rubbing the paint. You see the panel coming through in various places, especially down here at the bottom. Um, what's super cool and you can't see is that Maurer has written his address while he's in Paris on the back of the painting in pencil. This is probably um, the closest that we have on view to the American artist James McNeil Whistler. Um, Maurer certainly would have known about Whistler's work and Whistler was famous for painting scenes at night and in fact um, got himself into trouble and into a lawsuit about a nocturnal painting of fireworks um, that was very well known scandal at the time. Um, Maurer is focusing on water and light, um, but really kind of uh, diminishing the brightness of all of the colors to really enhance that feeling that we like these beholders over here are experiencing the city of light, but at night. 